Hello everyone, this is Noah with the Vogue Gourmet. So today I thought before we do any cooking, we should go over the basics of knife skills while cooking in the kitchen. So I don't know about you, but when I have friends over, usually I'm the one cooking and they'll ask if I need help and I'm like, sure, I'll take it where I can get it. Usually I'll send them to cut the vegetables and then their initial reaction is, and I don't want that for you guys because, first of all, it's awkward. Second of all, they feel bad because they feel like they're taking too long or I'm completely judging them, which I tell them I'm not, but I do a little bit, to be honest. But, oh well. So, I'm gonna go over a few things of how to hold a kitchen knife properly with comfort and confidence, and then also give a few examples of how you shouldn't be and then how you should be while cutting food in the kitchen. Let's go. Example one of how you shouldn't be in the kitchen. The person who thinks they're a freaking ninja and just cut super fast. <laughs> Example two, the bro. All day? And example three, the person who probably sweats a lot because they're so nervous and unfortunately will probably cut their fingers off before they even cut the product. You got this now, you got this. Oh, <laughs> almost cut my fingers off. It's not a problem. Fingers go back, right? <laughs> okay. Oh. Wasn't that bad, right? <sighs> so those are just some examples of how you definitely should not be cutting food at all in the kitchen. As in life, there are good and bad ways to do things and those are definitely not the best ways to do it. I want you to have fun with it. I want you to get creative. I want you to be that friend who goes over to another friend's house when they need help cooking. You're like, I got you, bro. So without further ado, let's get started. So in my opinion, I believe there's two ways that you can hold a knife. So you can either hold it like this and have your thumb almost touching the blade in the back, or my personal favorite is having your index finger and your thumb touching the blade with the three fingers in the back on the handle. I think this is the best way just because you get more of an accurate cut with what you're looking for exactly. So also don't forget that when you're cutting, go in like a rocking movement, like a rhythm, you know. It just makes things more smooth and I think it's better for the knife too. You know, don't just go chop, chop, chop. I feel like that dulls the blade. Unless in certain situations when you're cutting bigger things and it's hard to do that, then obviously kind of go down. But even then you're kind of going in a rocking boat kind of rhythm. So those are just my ways of how to cut vegetables with a knife. Okay, so I decided to go with a stock of celery as an example. And don't forget when you're cutting the hand that doesn't have the knife in it, to make sure you have your fingers curled um, what that's gonna do is when you start cutting, it's gonna kinda help you guide your blade on the exact size. So if I want thin, I'm gonna go ahead and go thin. And when it gets closer to my fingers, I'm gonna back up and crawl, kinda like a spider legs. I hate using that example because I hate spiders, but you know, I think it's the best analogy. Um, or if you wanna start going bigger, that's when you start moving your finger back more. And voila. Hey guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you did and want to see more videos like this of everything food and fashion, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel called The Vogue Gourmet. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see next time or in any future posts that I make. I hope you guys have a great week. And until next time, bye.